Hi, welcome to Turkish Lessons. My name is Yasin Durak. Today, guys, I will help you learn how we use suffixes in present simple tense, especially in all tenses in Turkish. Guys, uh, actually, I really thank you for your um, support and, and for your comments and for your requests, especially because um, when you send me your request, so I will uh, shape up my lessons according to your request. So uh, today, I will help you learn correctly how to use suffixes with verbs. So let's see the examples here, guys. On the left, you see the vowels. So vowels is these are the letters, you know, and uh, that we will that, that will help us which suffix we will have to use while we are making our sentences. And suffixes are next to these uh, vowels and the examples on the right side, guys. I hope it's gonna be a helpful lesson for every Turkish learner here. So let's start now. This is called u. Okay, so if a verb finishes with u, okay, with one of the u vowels, so you have to use er or ur suffixes at the end of verbs. But of course, these verbs, examples here, guys, only they are made by uh, subject pronouns of he, she, it. Okay, so. U. If it finishes with U, then we put a uh, suffix ER or UR. Example, GÜL. GÜL is the base form of the verb of smile. Smile. Okay. Or you can say laugh. It's up to, I mean, actually smile is better. Okay. GÜL. GÜL is the base form of the verb. Okay. So after, look, it finishes with U uh, vowels. So that's why, as in the example here, ER or UR suffixes, we have to use Example, er, gül, er, gül er. Okay, so if it finishes with ı, or then you have to use r or ır. Example, kır is the base form of break in English. Then you have to use r. Okay, guys, here, kır, r. That means he or she or it breaks. And let's see here, a, a. If it finishes with a vowels, then we have to use R or only RE, RE, R or RE. Okay, example, ATLA, ATLA means jump, jump, ATLA, ATLA, R, ATLA, R, okay. All right, so let's see here, E, if it finishes with E, then use ER, ir or only RE, example, S. Ne, es ne, es ne means yawn, yawn. Okay, guys, yawning. He yawns. Es ne, es ner, es ner. Only we put here re. Okay, guys, this is the suffix that we have to use because it finishes with e here, a vowel e. That's why only we put here re. And then let's continue o. If it finishes o with o, then use ur or re. Example. Oku, oku. As you know, I want to remind you again, these are the based form of the verbs. Don't forget, oku means read. You you command someone to do something for you. Oku, oku. It means read, read. And after you put re, okur, okur. He or she or it reads. E. Then you will use ur, ir, er. And after example, Öret, öret. This means teach, teach. Öretir, öretir. Look, we use these suffixes ir at the end of the verb because it finishes with e vowel, e vowel. Okay, guys, here e. All right. So actually, no problem because mm, also we use here, as I said, if. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, right. now you can use the here as well, guys. E, because it finishes with E, here example E, that's why we put here er, ir, re, then we put here, we put here ir, which is correct. So, E, another example is er, then we use er, example, cheese, it means draw, draw. So, you have to use er here, example, er. He or she or it draws. Okay. Now, I hope it's clear information here. Actually, um, as soon as I find one example with this, here with uh, I will um, 
uh, right here as a subtitle, guys, for you. All right, let's see other examples. Now, as you see, you know, uh, on the left, uh, based form of verbs with infinitives, actually, how we understand if it, it's f infinitive or not, because we have only two infinitive suffixes to make verbs infinitive, which are, as you see here, make or muck. All right, for example, based form of the verbs here in blue, and the next to them are suffixes, guys, we have to use. Of course, as I said at the beginning of our lesson here, you have to use he, she, it personal pronouns to make sentences according to these verbs. All right. So, for example, he, she, it plants or he, she, it makes or does. So that's why we put here only suffixes in Turkish. O. Okay. O ekar. O yapar. O gider. That means he plants, he does, he goes, example, of course. All right, I hope it's clear. Now, let's go ahead. Ekmek is the base form of the verb, which is infinitive, that if you use a suffix because it finishes with e vowel, that's why I put here ash. All right, so let's go ahead. Ekmek, so I will do like this. I will say first the infinitive, then the, um, the, uh, the, the, the form which um, suffixes are made then let's go ahead. Ekmek, eker. Yapmak, yapar. Gitmek, gider. Üzmek, üzer. Duymak, duyar. Vermek, verir. Kırmak, kırar. Görmek, görür. Duy doymak, doymak. Doyar. Gelmek, Gelir. Guys, in the previous lesson, in the previous slide, sorry, uh, I gave you one example with O, oh, you know, um, vowels, which I couldn't give you an example. So I can give you here. O oh is, as you see here, U. So we put here U. Let's see, get back to example O. Oh, look at here. So we put here U. Oh, as you see the example here. Gör, U. Oh, because it finishes with vowel O. Oh. So we put here suffix U. Oh. All right, so doymak, doyar, gelmek, gelir. Let's repeat one more time this suffix um, uh, words uh, with uh, examples here. Okay, he, she, it forms, don't forget. So we put here o. Eker, yapar, gider, üzer, duyar, verir, kırar, görür, doyar, gelir. Let's see them in in sentences now. I hope it's um, I hope it's helpful, guys, for you. All right, let's go ahead. On the right side here, English examples, and on the right, Turkish examples. For example, o her zaman geç gelir gelir. Look look at the vowel here. Look at the vowel here. Gelir. Okay, guys. Gelir. This is the e a vowel. Then after we put here ir. Okay. O söz verir. O söz verir. E, as you see here, we put ir suffix. O ders çalışır. O ders çalışır. I. So if it's uh, finished with a vowel I, then you put here only ir here. O müzik dinler. If it finishes, as you see here, i vowels, then you put here er suffixes. To complete the sentences, guys. So, guys, um, there's one more thing. Actually, I have to tell you. I always mentioned the subject pronouns of he, she, it. All right. So, which finishes with ir or ar or er, ir, ur or ur. But if it finishes with me, for example, I, then you have to use get the guys subject pronouns of I. Uh, so sorry, no, suffixes of I, you we, they, and you forms in Turkish uh, verbs, which you, I think you can learn uh, it from my other uh, previous lessons, which is easy for you when you watch them. I hope uh, this is going to be end of our lesson, I think, yes. And guys, thank you very much for your time. If you guys have any questions about this lesson specifically, please write your comments below the uh, lesson, and then I will write back to you very quickly. Thanks for your time and hope to see you here next time. Bye.